welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Today I pulled out my little tiny field photography tank in order to show you a delicate little species from Lake Inley, the Emerald Dwarf Rasbora or Celestichthys erythromicron. Now these are a fish that I desperately, desperately wanted about 10 or 12 years ago and it took me a while to get them. They are absolutely gorgeous. But let me tell you, you want to keep them in a small tank that's super heavily planted because like their cousin, the CPD, they can be a bit shy. Let's take a look and I'll tell you more about them and some of the reasons for that behavior. So this is a pair of the Danio erythromicron or Celestichthys erythromicron that I've pulled into a little tiny container just so you guys could get a nice good look at them. Now you can see that the males are much bolder colored than the females. But they're both really attractive fish with that vertical barring and the only way to really tell the difference between them is that the males get bluer and have reddish to their fins um, and the females are just a little more drab. Now these guys come from Lake Inley in Myanmar which I've talked to you guys about before when we were talking about uh, Celestichthys chopra, the glow light Danielle. And that's a unique environment because there's floating islands that are made up of all these thick mats of reeds. And these fish live within the underside of those thick mats. And that means that it's extremely, extremely dense levels of planting. Which means these guys are perfect for a super heavily planted tank. Now the waters there are really clear, which is also unique because a lot of small fishes come from peat swamps. These guys are a clear water species, making them especially good for a small planet aquarium. Now it's important to remember their behavior. They, they inherently are from areas that are extremely densely planted, so they're not going to hang out in the open water sections of your tank for the most part. They're going to hang out in the plants, which is why they're perfect for an extremely heavily planted and aquascaped aquarium. And they can take a pH range of 7 to 8, so they're a species as well that can take a bit harder water. They're super easy to feed, eating dried, frozen, or live foods of an appropriate size. And they are a shoaling species more than a schooling species, meaning they do best in groups. And the males can sometimes be a little nippy to each other, so it's important to have a nice large group for them to set up a social hierarchy, as well as having plenty of females. They're an egg scatter and they're really easy to breed. You would want to set up a little breeding tank with a couple of pairs or a group with a lot of spawning mops or really dense uh, plants like guppy grass or java moss. They'll spawn almost constantly laying eggs in groups of about 30 that take about three days to hatch. After another three days or so, the fry will be free swimming and they go right up to the surface of the water. And the parents are very prone to eating them, so you'd want to remove them after you've seen evidence of eggs. Now an important thing to note is these guys can hybridize with celestial pearl danios, the Celestichthys margaritatus, so you would not want to house them together. But they are appropriate with many other small schooling fishes. Things like Microdivario, Dario, Sabla resplendens, the Asian rummy nose, or any of the hovering lo loach species would be particularly nice. All in all, they're a beautiful, striking little fish that is perfect for a heavily scaped tank. You can see how tiny this container is to give you an idea of scale of the fish. Obviously, I wouldn't keep them in this long term. Anyway, I think these are a really cool, beautiful little fish, and I hope you've enjoyed learning more about them. Let me know below what species you'd like to see me feature. Stop by my Instagram as well as my website, MsJinx.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.